with the latest Layout by Mail project kit. This is a layout kit using the Simple Stories Cabin Fever collection. This is definitely geared towards kind of outdoor adventures. So first of all, we'll take a look at the completed layouts, then we'll take a look at the products that are included in the kit. So um, this kit makes three double page spreads. This first one that we're looking at, make sure that we can, there we go, see where we are there, make sure that you can see and that we're centered. So the first layout is really, I have geared it towards kind of an outdoor hike. Now, if you're not much of a hiker, but you still like to spend time outdoors, you can easily modify this layout basically by just not including that little take a hike in the center there, and then you may replace some of the different embellishments. But um, that floral um, it, that appears in this collection is such a fun floral. And I think what really makes this Cabin Fever collection different is the addition of this mint. You see that mint appear um, quite a bit in the collection and it really makes it a fun, um, really fun outdoor collection and also kind of softens it a bit along with that kind of um, outdoorsy floral. So that is the first 12 by 12 spread. Then we move to a camping spread. Um, and again, this one, if you needed to change the theme, you certainly could. But this is just kind of a really great basic layout to um, capture our camping adventures a couple summers ago. So I've included a number of different photos. Um, I brought in kind of that nighttime feel from that star paper and include them, included some night photos. But you could certainly... Um, you know, just use it as a background instead of outdoorsy. So, or excuse me, night. So that is the second spread. Oh, I also wanted to point out um, down here, some of the icons in this collection, you guys, are so, so, so fun. Um, this little truck down here, that's one of the chipboard pieces. Um, to the truck and then uh, the little camper and the camper with that um, that buffalo plaid. Buffalo plaid is still super, super, super popular in terms of a pattern that is out there in the scrapbooking and crafting community as well as even home decor. Made a huge appearance um, around Christmas last year. All right, the third spread is um, just another really good neutral um, outdoor kind of outdoor spread and that's what you see here. I have done, um, I've used pictures from a trip to the lake. This great title, that great outdoors, that is a cut file that I made and you have that title also included in your kit pre-cut for you. So um, that buffalo plaid is gorgeous. Um, just even this guy, that, um, that dark background with the florals. It's just a really fun collection. This collection has really, really um, grown on me as I worked with it. Okay. Now let's take a look at the products really quick that are included in the kit. So lots of great products. We're gonna start out with, oh, there's that little cut file. I already saw that. Um, we're starting out with the um, decorative brads. There are 30 brads in there and those get used quite a bit throughout the, um, the projects, but you'll find that you also have lots left over for additional um, projects. The chipboard stickers, there's a couple of those icons that I talked about, that truck, a great tent, the florals, even that, how about that, do you guys remember that? Those thermoses back um, when we were, at least for me, um, that way dates me, but back when I was a, um, a kid, but just some great um, little wood pieces and so forth. Then we have the 12 by 12 combo sticker, which is always great to work with in your layouts because you have so many icons and then all of those word strips as well and then some fun additional pieces there. Okay, now we move to the paper because it is a layout kit. It is very, very, very paper heavy. There are 15 sheets of paper in this kit. So we see that floral and I mentioned kind of that woodsy floral is just a gorgeous um, addition, which really softens, I think you guys will agree, softens that collection and makes it super versatile. There's that mint that we talked about before. There is a smaller scaled version of the flower against the mint and that star paper, I love it. It's kind of like a really dark midnight blue with a bunch of little stars there. A great plaid and it's a mint plaid, so Love that addition of the mint. You're gonna hear me say that a bunch of times. This will be one of the backgrounds um, for one of the layouts. We saw that paper on the last layout that is on that kind of dark wood grain with the beautiful florals on top. The uh, mustard, we'll also be using um, some touches of that as well. 
And there's that gorgeous buffalo plaid. That's another base of one of their lamps. A um, wood grain, and this one's kind of a log looking, kind of log cabin looking. So that's another base of one of our layouts. The three by four elements. And then, um, some of you may know that I, in my past, worked for a company called Scenic Route. And um, that was a number of years ago. I have dug deep in my stash and pulled out these two papers to include in your kits. Um, I love, love, love the grid and this grid appears on kind of a nice worn cream color so you'll be using two of those um as background papers for your layouts as well and then i just want to show you this this little baggie this little baggie is what i had left over in terms of just the chipboard pieces and the brad so you'll see you have lots of things left over when you are done all right so that is the lay all by mail outdoor adventures kit that makes three 12 by 12 spreads. Check um, the end of this video as well as the notes section here on YouTube for information on ordering. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope when you take that jump, you don't feel the fall. Hope when the water rises